Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good. So this video is going to be so chill. It's literally just me doing my everyday makeup with you all. You guys seem to be quite interested over on Instagram in my makeup and what I put on every day. I absolutely love makeup and beauty. It is just chef's kiss to me. I'm just, I've been obsessed since I was about 11. I absolutely love it. But this is super chill. It's literally just me sitting here doing makeup with you. So I hope you like this kind of thing. And I never say this and I should, but if you're new here or you fancy hanging around, sticking around, then please do subscribe because that would be amazing. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and I'm just gonna roll it. On my skin, I have just put on, where is it? It was the moisturizer I actually showed you in one of my vlogs. It is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Day Cream Moisturizer. Love this. It's just such a great moisturizer, super lightweight and perfect for kind of prior makeup application. And I get really dry lips, so I am using the iconic London Lip Oil. This is the shade one to watch. And I love to use this as kind of a lip treatment before I start putting on any of the products. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go on to skin. Now, to prime my skin, I'm all about glowy kind of bronzy skin. I have very dry skin, especially at the minute. So we're going to go in with, this is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops by Drunk Elephant Fortifies and Bronze. This is her. I don't know if, let me try and tap. This is her. She is such a good product. It's one of those ones you need the tiniest amount of. And when I first used it, I was like, mm, do I need this? And now I'm like, oh my gosh, I could not live without this. Especially if you're a big fake tan user, this is perfect because it really helps in between fake tan applications. You know, when your body and your neck is still got like a nice even tan, but your face is starting to fade. Like already, that's helped to bring me back to life. I'm going in with the Hollywood Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I'm going in with the shade three, medium. Love this stop. This stuff? Stop? What the hell am I talking about? I'm just gonna put it on the high points of my face because this is very glowy and I'm gonna glow it go. I'm gonna glow it. I'm gonna go in with quite a glowy um foundation so I only need a little bit of glow and again I'm just using my hands to kind of press this in I actually use a lot of hands when I do makeup I think it's a really nice final touch to kind of smoosh it all in I used to work um for Bobbi Brown and she used to always talk about how the hands were the best makeup tool and the perfect kind of last thing you can do to your makeup is to warm up your hands and press it all into your skin just to make sure that you're giving your skin that kind of skin like finish back and it's not got too much product it's a great way to take off excess product but whew, already I feel like my skin is starting to look way more together like it's got a bit of a glow going on there so happy about that using a new brow product which I love it's the, sorry, I need to show you. It's the Refi Beauty Brow Sculpt. Um, or is it Reformation Beauty? I'm not too sure, I can't quite remember. Um, but I'll link all these products down below anyway. And um, yeah, it's the Brow Sculpt, it's clear product. And it's very good, but you have to learn to work with it. So I find this actually works best before foundation because as soon as I put foundation on, it can mix in with my foundation so I'm taking the kind of thicker brush end I'm brushing out my eyebrows first this does also get quite messy um, so it needs cleaned quite a lot but the overall result from the brow is so good that I can never not use it I absolutely love it now and I'm just kind of very quickly slapping it on essentially and then I'm taking that thicker brush side again and I'm literally brushing it through and laying it flat and you get this incredible wolfy type brows 
which is not going to be a look for everyone but for me I absolutely love the look of the brows like this I think it really helps to open up the eye and if you feel like you've gone a little bit crazy you can always just taper them off at the ends I'm gonna do the other side of the brow as well now we have our brows in place looking so much more thicker I groomed and actually into my brows okay I did it to this brow because I was like I need to do it I need to practice it first and I actually think it's quite good I, I can't properly tell how it's gonna look on the camera I could have just rigged my brow but it looks quite good in real life even if that's a little bit blocky I'm actually gonna use this Oliva winged liner brush and the browsings palette by benefit both such good brow products really worth investing in because you've got your like pomades as well as your powders I'm gonna go in with the powder and then I'm actually just gonna go in and fill kind of any little gap but yeah I think that's quite cool and then maybe a little at the front what do you think okay enough with brows let's get some base on okay foundation wise we're actually gonna go in with something new and that I've been loving it's super lightweight for spring summer which I absolutely love and it is the Givenchy Prison Libra Skin Care and Glow I have the shade <clears throat> 3N270 I love it and it's a pump foundation I'm just using my beauty blender I think it's a real techniques one actually and I'm just gonna use my little mini mirror here as well just to guide me I'm gonna start placing it onto the skin it's just a gorgeous foundation that actually lets your skin breathe and show through I think you'll find out pretty quick that well I have different makeup styles but my everyday makeup style is quite like a natural look, which I enjoy quite lightweight, very comfortable to wear. Um, something that would fade quite easily. But then I love a full on like beauty transformation as well. I would just normally do that for like nights out or like special occasions or something. Or if I've been bored, I know a lot of the times with lockdown, I was going through a major fun colorful makeup stage just because it was something to do and to get creative again you know with makeup but let me know if there's any light medium foundations that you've been loving recently because i'm desperate to try i absolutely love trying new base products because it's one of those products that i love because you can know straight away whether you're gonna like it or not I'm doing a bit of work with code over on instagram and thank god i have because they've introduced me to this seamless cover concealer it's incredible I use the shade NC10 and it's so lightweight there's barely any creasing and it really lifts and brightens like wait till you see this and it's kind of full coverage without it looking um, fake it's really great in just giving your eye that lift providing some coverage in the most natural way possible and it just means you don't need to have absolutely loads under your under eye because I that's my problem area anyway I feel like if I put too much under there I get creasing throughout the day and and I don't have crazy dark circles so for me I'm just looking for something that will brighten and lift my complexion I actually tried the Patrick Ta contour face palette the other day and I loved it but I probably wouldn't do that every day and since this is my everyday makeup we're not gonna do that but look at the difference of that concealer like I just feel so much more wide awake which is what we want bronzer wise I've actually found an oldie but goodie I used to be obsessed with the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil medium deep matte bronzer I used to be obsessed with these oh my gosh obsessed and I'm going in with the Zoeva Rose Gold brush set. It's pretty much all my brushes. I think they're so fab. And I'm just going to place it like on my cheekbones here. Tiny little like light sweeping motions. 
kind of stippling so I don't want to move anything underneath and it's just going to slowly start bringing back some really nice natural looking bronzer so I love playing with cream bronzers and I showed you in last week's vlog Iconic's new sheer bronzer which oh my gosh I'm so obsessed with but I think for me just now because I'm having such a glowy foundation moment um, if I go in with a super creamy liquid bronzer everything's just a little bit too glowy I end up looking just a little bit sweaty so I feel like for now I'm going to use my powder bronzer bring it down towards my neck as well because it's one of these things that before you know it I forget and I'm looking mismatched and I love love bronzer so we're really going in do not be afraid I feel like whenever I used to do people's makeup and they'd use the tiniest bit of bronzer and be like oh gosh no and then they'd always be like why is my makeup not like yours why is it not sitting and I think a lot of the time people are either going too heavy-handed or way too light-handed especially people who are a little bit afraid of makeup i think if you if it's quite a light-handed situation you're not going to get the full effect of what makeup can do for you but yeah i think that's maybe enough before i go too crazy sometime now the nude sticks blushes i just think they're absolutely fantastic it's the magnetic magnetic lip plush paints nude sticks and the shade hot paprika i just think these are so beautiful just the tiniest bit is needed they are so pigmented and i'm going in again with the zoeva brush and i'm just packing that on the tops of my cheekbones i used to put my blush quite close to my face i started watching tiktok and all the cool kids are saying not to do that so i'm like <laughs> okay I won't and I need that facelift so I'll do what the kids are telling me to do and put it at the very top of my cheeks here to kind of give my face that little bit of a lift and to not drag it down in any way so we're just buffing that in to my cheeks cool. and everyone's favorite part Let's do some highlighting. Highlighter wise, we're gonna go in with this Illamasqua highlighter in OMG. I love it, it's such a good highlighter. And we're gonna go in highlighting brush wise with the Bare Minerals Blooming Blush brush. Ooh. And look at this pan, isn't it just so stunning? And I swear I've used it loads and it doesn't look like it at all. So let's just, I'm so excited, I absolutely love highlighter and I'm not even like the biggest fan of highlighter I just find it so satisfying putting it on and I'm not one for like a blinding highlight I just I'm oh, sorry you can see that I just want enough to give me that natural lit from within glow because anything too bright to me highlights my texture I don't want that but yes looking good the skin is that place where I like it to look. <laughs> I'm gonna put on, just to help everything melt into the skin, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Now, this is a strange product because it is so fine to the point where you can barely feel it going on your skin. And it smells amazing. And it makes your skin glowy and the makeup melt. But it definitely doesn't do anything in terms of a setting spray. It's 100% not a setting spray for sure. But this is the base so far. This is what I've been doing on like the regular. Now the lip liner I've been loving recently is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I love how much of a cool tone brown it is. It's very 90s, very supermodel-esque and I do overline my lips as well. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove the lip oil you have because when you're trying to do lip liner with lip oil, the biggest disaster ever okay i'm coming in a little bit closer so you can see sorry for the most unflattering angle um we're just gonna start going in so i like to round this area off like that 
I never overline from the corners. It's always from kind of around here. And I do the same to the other side. And look at my, I'm placing my hand on my chin to steady it. And I do almost like a windscreen wiper motion to get that fuller top lip. And I kind of just gently sweep over the cupid's bow. I don't want that too defined. And then I'll just fill in my lip pretty kind of haphazardly. And then I do the exact same with, and then I <laughs> and then I do the exact same with the bottom lip. And I'm just rubbing my finger to go over the edges because I like that kind of soft bitten look. Now, lipstick wise, I have been so in love. I love a really nude 90s kind of makeup. And this is a lipstick from the Bare Minerals range. It's vegan and it is their Mineralism Hydra Smoothing Lipstick in the shade Balance. It's such a perfect beigey nude. And I think it would be perfect for everyone. It's just a very, very pale. So you need a tiny amount. Just a quick swipe, just like that. But I'm loving how everything's looking together. It's still looking glowy and bronzy, but still natural. I am so dry. I could not go out like this. I would need some gloss. I've got super dry lips, so I always need to finish off with some gloss. This is the, so Ava, what are they called? Sing With Me lip glosses. They're lip shines and this is the shade Powerful. Let me just. The lip gloss, I tend to apply to the bottom and then kiss to the top, if that makes sense. So that's my kind of everyday lip color. You'll know, it's very me. I'm not going outside the boat right now with this look but it is meant to be an everyday makeup look. So we're gonna go on to the eyes now. Now, again, this is nothing revolutionary, but I've been going in with my bronzer, swirling it on a little brush like this. This is the Zoeva 225 Luxe Eye Blender. And I've just been using this on my eyelid as a transition, just on the outside there. I feel like it really helps to just elongate the eye, give it a little bit of definition. I'm not one for loads of colors. I love a one sweep color and done idea for eyes. I think it looks really chic. I love a monochrome moment. So I'm just gently buffing it all out. Like so. And that's how it looks. It takes two seconds to do. This brush is so good. And it's just nice because it still ties in with the whole look because it's the same bronzer that we used. And that's all I do for eyeshadow. Sometimes I will take the excess, so I haven't dipped in again, and just run it underneath. I feel like this actually helps to stop creasing on your concealer because it kind of sets it and gives it a bit of definition without having to use any powder. Um, now let's do some eyelash curling. So I've got these eyelash curlers. They're not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my favorite were MAC. This is the Laura Mercier one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. And I don't do it for too long. Just feel like this really helps to keep my lashes up curled. I have long lashes, but they're so fine, like all of my hair. And it's also so straight, like all of my hair. So I just need to curl them. Mascara time. Oh, can we please talk about this mascara? I am so in love. This is the Lancome Lash Idol. And I tried this out a couple of months ago and I was like, you know what? It's not gonna be a big deal, whatever. <sighs> I was so wrong. This is such a good mascara. So good. If you're looking for an affordable dupe, the Lash Sensational by Maybelline's good, um, but it just takes a few coats to get there. Well, this is like done in one coat. It's incredible. I'll show you before and after. I also, when I'm doing mascara, can't help and get it on my eyelids. I don't know why. 
I don't even know how to stop it. It always transfers up there when I'm doing this. Um, the other eye, let's go in. I want to make sure you guys can see as well. So when I'm doing my mascara, I'm quite funny. I don't really paint them on. I almost just use the tip quite a lot of the time. And try and go from the bottom and just like pick it up and drag it through. And then I'll go in with the actual brush. Just so I know I'm placing an equal amount of product from the root up almost straight away. And then I'll go in with the brush. But yeah, I've already got it on my lids. Oops. But yeah, it's sensational. I absolutely love this. I'm going to do a second coat as well and then be right back. So I'm going to wait. So this is kind of like the finished look. But I'm going to wait to be able to take off any excess kind of product on my eyelids. Because the mascara will forever do this to me. It's so annoying. But this is the finished makeup look that I'm doing kind of every day. It honestly doesn't take that long. Obviously I, it's taking a bit of time because I'm chatting to you guys, but it honestly doesn't take that long. It probably takes about 15 minutes to do every day. I feel like it stays on really well. I don't put mascara on the bottom of my um, eyelashes and that bit's been set with a little bit of bronzer so it's not going to crease. The makeup stays in place all day. It stays really nice and glowy and healthy. I'm going to finish with a bit of a setting spray. I normally use my iconic London one, but I don't know where that is. Oops. So we're gonna use my second favorite, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow. Ooh, I love setting sprays. They're so fun. But this will just make sure that everything is set for the day. And it also gives me uh, my makeup look a final look all together. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions about shades or have missed something out, feel free to pop it down in the comments below and I will get back to you as fast as I can. It would also be great if you've got any suggestions in terms of makeup beauty videos you want to see. I definitely need to do my crimping hair one for sure. And I also want to do... Um, a skincare video if there's any specific makeup looks that you would like to see then feel free to let me know in the comment box below but yeah this is the full makeup look just need to get rid of those pesky little mascara moments that don't judge me we all do this just never have a q-tip handy Ta -da! okay see ya this is the final look. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It just really helps me know what videos that you guys like to see. And I hope you subscribe and I will see you all soon. Have a lovely week. Bye.